Hi guys, uh, this will be more of a vlog style video and you see here this is yeah my the rest of my lab and here is a new corner that I set up and that will be um, the corner where I pack all the boards that I'm shipping. So I started on this Saturday selling the boards. Yeah, uh, that's uh, quite exciting since uh, I'm new to this and I ordered some, uh, let's say, equipment and uh, pa packaging material um, to get going with that. So let's take a look inside what I bought um, Yeah, to make nice packages. So it's not all, I'm, I'm still waiting for a stamp and uh, yeah, some surprises that I probably put in uh, each of the packets and then yeah, but let's take a look inside what, what's in there. Okay, let's start from the top here. And this is some, yeah, that's, that's not new. Um, that's older packaging material, so small boxes, but these are too high to ship for the price that I um, yeah, selected. I have smaller boxes, it should be inside here somewhere. <coughs> so what I have here is um, such a kind of a thin paper that you use to like uh, pack the glass or whatever. And uh, I decided to want, in, instead of bubble wrap, use this recycled paper. Since I'm also concerned about uh, the environment and the microplastic that's uh, floating around the oceans. And I don't want to participate in that or at least limit, limit it to the least amount. So I still have this ESD bags here um, for the electronics. Um, but yeah, except for this plastic and let's say the China FPCB boards, um, I want to limit my ecological footprint and yours as well if you are purcha purchasing my um, my stuff. So everything will be in paper. I have more of this, so I'll put this down here. So okay, let's let's get this first. So. This is the packaging material, probably. I'm sure, yes, it is. Wow. Oh. So, this is how I limit the uh, plastics. If I would know that they are uh, shipping it in plastic, I would probably order somewhere else. So, ridiculous. Um, so, more of this uh, recycled uh, pa packaging paper. One, <laughs> two, three. Okay, that should last forever. So, for the next few years, I'm covered with that. It was like 19 euros, so the shipping. I uh, took a lot of the costs uh, on that, so it wouldn't be worth to buy like uh, 5 kilos. So I bought, I think it might be 15 kilogram, yeah. 15 kilogram and uh, yeah. Uh, 5 kil kilogram was like 12 euros and for 19 you get like uh, triple the uh, amount. So I got this. This should be the boxes. Strange packaging here. And just two boxes put on top of each other. Okay. I think I want to just flip it upside down. So let's uh, try one and see how that looks. It should go like that. 
Yeah, that will be how I will ship them. And uh, really, for for uh, German Germany, um, the postage is always the same, no matter if you're shipping a small box or an envelope. So I will use the box to um, yeah not get like uh, the legs of the parts bent like this one here. So this one was uh, unfortunately on the corner and it was damaged in the shipping. And uh, what I want to see. Be sure that the parts, uh, when they are packed in here, will arrive uh, nicely and not damaged at all. So yeah, the, these are the connectors. So this, these are uh, yeah, like 98 connectors or 97. Um, so that's uh, 200 boxes here. I can sell 200 uh, boards or send them to my supporters or whatever um, and yeah, that will be okay for some time and now let's start with uh, the actual uh, stuff that I bought for doing this here What do we have? Okay, here. First of all, I hope uh, this is any good. That's uh, paper sticky tape. So I don't want even to put plastic on the box. Everything until the ESD, um, ESD bag will be um, completely recycled. So like this, I'm sure I'll, I'll pack it later and yeah, so something like that. But yeah, it's sticking very well to uh, this cardboard. That's great. So I also bought uh, quality tape. So this is not a cheap ass. Uh, Tesla is actually a good brand or let's say quality brand. Here in Germany, I don't know if it's uh, popular in other countries as well. So we have that, and yeah, to use the tape, I also bought this thing here that was really cheap, only like six, six euros, and it even came with this plastic tape that I will just switch like that. And I hope this is better. Um, you've probably seen the, the big things that you roll off uh, the taper with, um, but I always manage to rip it somehow with uh, these and uh, cut myself or whatever. So I wanted to try something smaller. Yeah, it's not about to being cheap here or whatever. I just wanted tr to try something else. And yeah. A little bit. No, so let's check if this works. How do I do this? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh yes. Okay. So pressing this down blocks it. Something like that. I'm not sure. Yeah. I will tell you another time if that works out well or not. So that's that. Next thing is this uh, label printer and... Oh yeah. Label printer and some cheap ass, uh, not original brother tapes for, for the infinite tapes I think it um, are. I hope I can print and uh, for the international shipping I need to put in the list. Okay, so this is the tape. It's, oh yeah, 30 meters. So 
three times 30 meters with uh, of this infinite label labeler tape. It was like 15 euros. And yeah, that's the label printer. Oh, that's sweet. They even put in uh, a thinner one, but I want to use this. Wow, that's huge! Okay, I have here my old uh, EPC laptop and I will use that for doing the labels and so on. So. And that one. So it's a paper cutter and uh, it's a really cheap one. I don't want it to have a like, huge thing over here, just a simple one where I can, can cut simply a straight line. And um, yeah, I want to make small booklets, print them and put them in the packaging with instructions and so on. So. I will just uh, yeah, use that to, to cut the straight line. Okay, let me hook up uh, this label printer and then I can tell you if it's any good since uh, this thing <laughs> was the cheapest I could find. It's uh, Brother QL500. Oh, wait a second. Oh, yes. <sighs> Restart? Seriously? We are not in the 90s anymore. So I won't restart. I never restart. So let's take a look. What? Okay, we should pull one, open that, and pull it out. So what? Okay. Um, yeah, let's try this uh, cheap ass tape here. I must admit, I never have used anything like that before. So I, the only one, the on, only label printer, uh, is this one that I got. This is a really cool one. It was like 14 euros, and I got also really cheap tapes for that. Um, I used it to label all my co compartments for the for the uh, for my uh, components. And how does it work now? Yeah, that's, that should be all. Okay, print it. Yeah, we want quality, the best quality we can get. Okay. The first print ever with this one. What? It's already done? Oh, I will print it again. Okay, I will just cut this off here and print again. That one is really fast. Look at this. Look. That's all. <laughs> wow, and now I can pull this off. Does it stick? Where's my test box? Yeah, like that. Yes! <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. Great. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to use it for, for the devices I, I sold already. Uh, it's after a day, it's more than 30. And um, to send also to my supporters. Great.
I hope you liked uh, that different kind of uh, update or vlog or whatever. Um, I will do more setup and show the final procedure how I uh, pack everything and set everything up and maybe um, the, the small instructions on whatever I design to ship with uh, the devices. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.